So if you're using a Windows 11 machine in particular, but maybe it's a Mac, um, or maybe it is just standard Windows machine, um, it's in Windows 10 or whatever, um, sometimes some people will notice when they try to edit the symbology of a layer um, on pseudo color, none of these color ramps will appear as they should. So either they like it's completely blank here. Um, I should say like for me, um, all of these is effectively how QGS should be displaying them. Um, so yeah, these boxes, it might either be completely blank or some of the color, some of the spectrum might be showing, but other parts of it, um, there's a white and gray checked boxes behind it, which basically means it's um, it's transparent. So if that happens, then uh, your color ramp's broken. Um, there is a quick workaround for this, um, which actually also adds a ton of functionality to QGIS. So to, to work around it, what we can do is um, come up to the plugins and manage and install plugins and look for color ramp with the American spelling because QJS is, adopts the American spelling for it. And you'll find this SVG to color um, plugin. So once you've selected that, select install plugin. And once it's installed, make sure that that tick box there is, um, is selected so that the plugin's activated. Now, when you go back to the symbology, um, these will still all be broken, but what you can do is come down here to create new color ramp, change this to the catalog, and there are a couple to choose from, then click OK. And um, you'll see that there's now a ton of different options, uh, many, many more than was previously available. Um, so let's go for this one. Um, yeah, so you'll see that there's now a ton more options um, for the color ramp as well as hopefully uh, fixing that um, color ramp issue you had previously. Um, so just to check you the QGIS version. This is version 3.22.13 um, but obviously it will uh, be the same workaround for many other versions and it should work fine. Thanks!